Damn it. Pow! Boom. So. We got ourselves the Stadia Premier Edition of the Black Friday deal from the Google Store at $19.99. Um, let's go ahead and listen to the unboxing. You know, we love this one. Satisfying. So, first one first, controller, um, we're greeted with. Nice and tactile, buttons feel good, analog sticks feel great as well. Some good feedback at the back there. Um, got USB charging, USB C charging on the top. Um, and it's a nice sort of solid feel to the to the plastic controller to be fair. Got a 3.5mm uh, aux on the bottom as well as a microphone. Um, so yeah man, that's a go. As we get into it, we can see that it comes with a uh, power brick for charging the controller and a USB A to USB C cable as well which is handy. This is like a 2 meter cable so it's a pretty decent length. Um, and then it's also a travel adapter as well so the prongs on the adapter extend in and out so it makes it easier for popping in and out your bag or wherever you need to carry it which is cool um so yeah man that's a nice addition and then inside this little pack here we've got our instruction manuals little stadia branding on the front and back um the instruction manual is just a quick setup guide uh, that we can see as well as um what comes in the box that we can see behind this as well um, so we can see everything that's included in there. So in the box we've got our Chromecast Ultra on the right and the prong adapter, um, power adapter on the left. Um, the Chromecast Ultra is nice, black, shiny finish on there. I've kept the sticker on because I can match sticker. Um, the HDMI is a nice solid port um, and I like the fact that it's got a flat cable so that it'll allow you to stick out from the TV and then plug it into the power adapter at the top. Power adapter is actually micro USB. There's a nice magnet on there as well so that you can fold it and put it away if you needed to travel with it, which is nice. Um, the power adapter also has ethernet so that you can get the best speeds. Now, when it comes to setting this up, it needs to be connected to a smart device that has the Google Home app first of all, so that you can set up the Chromecast and then also the Stadia app um, so that you can actually then connect the controller up to your Wi-Fi network and get you set up and going. Um, <laughs> you'll see as I go to set this up, I used my 1080p monitor just for the purpose of it being convenient to set up first and foremost because my Wi-Fi is crap. And I run into uh, some issues setting it up where I typed in my long Wi-Fi password and tried to go back and it didn't work. Here's how that went out. Oh, brother. Why doesn't the thing just go back rather than coming out the whole thing? Sort it out, man. Update. Six hours later. <laughs> Why have I plugged my 4K Chromecast? So, <laughs> we've now finally reinstalled it using the 4K TV so that you guys can get a bit of an idea of what it looks like. Um, not really great for a real life test given that I've recorded this on an iPhone. I've then had to edit this in to 4K 30 frames per second, which has then got to be processed on YouTube. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, <laughs> but from my experience, at least, I can sort of test out what the 4K quality is like. Um, now, with Stadia, um, it's a monthly subscription, which is $8.99 a month, um, and then that will give you access to their game library. Um, they've got some good titles on there. I've already got Bomberman installed um, from a free trial that I got with my Chromebook. Um, and I didn't need to then remain signed up to be able to play that because it's now saved to my account, which is cool. I believe I've also got Destiny 2 as well. So this just gives you a little bit um, of a real life um, idea in terms of loading times for the game. Um, this probably would depend on your internet, but overall the um, latency was pretty low with regards to controller input. Here's me just setting the game up and going through the settings and you'll just sort of see the load times to get the game actually up and running. Um, but it was a decent experience. Um, as I say, no lag. Um, the quality of the game that you could see on my TV wasn't fantastic. I'm dealing with download speeds of sub five megabytes per second, um, despite being plugged into ethernet. 
my internet connection is going to be a running joke, so throughout the channel, <laughs> you will see, um, you know, me reference to that. Um, but yeah, man, if you've got a decent internet connection, you know, you'll be able to stream your games of um, decent quality and stream your content from the likes of Netflix and everything else as well, um, you know, with no issues. Um, but you can sort of see here, I've got a relatively pixelated, um, you know, experience going on. But you can see I'm pressing the buttons here, and it's all sort of moving nicely. So, yeah, man, this is a this is a good good experience, even for someone with crap internet like myself. Um, but yeah, <laughs> you can even see um, I'm sort of going through the menu here, and can see how pixelated it is. I'm saying, nah, nah, it's <laughs> it's looking like a bit of a wrap for me. Um, so I needed to definitely lower my expectations of game quality here. So. Talking about cloud gaming in itself is a pretty cool concept. Um, the idea of being able to, um, you know, play your games using computing power over the cloud and an internet connection, as opposed to having to use, you know, local based hardware. It's a good way to sort of save some money. Um, and if you've got multiple rooms throughout the house, you know, you just plug a Chromecast in and then you've got a 4K gaming console with a solid library of games available to play. No wires anywhere, no, you know, five, six thousand, you know, hundred pounds or a thousand pound gaming PCs that you have to have in all these different rooms. Like, it's definitely a good sort of solution, um, you know, to have a little bit of entertainment throughout the house. And at this particular price point as well, even full price is still a good option. Ah, oh, big man. This one here, you get me. And then the aim of the game is to get the brother on the other side, isn't it? Let me go and get this thing here, so why not? My man is doomed. Put it right next to him. And then Bukai, it's finished. And then Bukai, it's finished. Like a little taunt. I've got a screenshot thing. Then I've got the Google Assistant button. So let's see what I've got on for that. Enable the Assistant in the Stadia app settings. All right, bro. Let's enable the Assistant in the Stadia app settings and see, see what I've got for that. Google Assistant. So I'll go to the Google Stadia app, and when I do, I can enable the Assistant on the controller. So enable the Stadia controller to connect to Google Assistant, and you said the Stadia controller has a microphone. So the microphone is next to the headset jack, and when the Assistant is listening, the status light on the controller will blink a series of two short flashes in a pause. Sweet, cool, and that's just for the Assistant. On the series, I'm just going to see some of the DMTs that are playing games. Alright, cool, sweet. So let's give this a try then. Let's see what we've got here. Alright, cool. Turn my light off. Amazing. Turning off 15 lights. Amazing. So, so let's see if I. Alright, cool. I'll tell you what. Let me try launching a game using Google Assistant. So I just press it once and then the light will flash. Um, launch Destiny. Is this thing on? Ha, let's try that again. Launch Destiny. Got it. Starting Destiny 2. Alright. <laughs> You can launch games using that, so that's cool. Let's try something a bit different. Play YouTube. So I wonder if this will take it out of the I application. I can't play YouTube from Stadia yet. Use the YouTube app on your mobile phone if you'd like to cast your Chromecast. Cool, so that's one of the restrictions. Let's see if we can turn the TV off using that. Turn off the TV.
it didn't like that. I'm satisfied with the fact that I can control the lights. So I didn't realize if you press the stadia button, you'll actually get this menu bar where I can view my messages. Um, I can also check the connection. Um, cool, so it tells me if I want to do 4K, I have to subscribe to Stadia Pro, HDR, unsupported by this particular game, and five that ones around. Uh, I can check options where I can increase the audio of the Chromecast, the game volume. I can see who I'm speaking to, um, you know, which will allow me to check the party chat or the game chat. Surround sound depends on what's supported by a device and the game. So surround sound requires a Stadia Pro subscription specifically. Um, get the best options for your alert depending on the kind of device. Notes, um, which is cool, and also the resolution. So I can change the resolution down to 720 if I wanted to, which is good. So I've got the option to do that to better my performance, right? Start a party, uh, search for friends invite someone to the game or to a party um yeah man i want to see if i can turn this off though i don't have to turn this off resume game